In this video, we are going to discuss a root uh, function generator ICL8038. So, let us discuss about the important features of uh, ICL8038. So, today we will be using this uh, ICL8038 voltage controlled oscillator or precision waveform generator in order to create a four functional generator circuit. So, this uh, ICL8038 can generate three output waveform without any external components such as sine wave, triangle wave and the square wave. So, if you want to decide to measure its output signal with an oscilloscope to see its waveform, first you would need to know a single source before measuring the output. So, this is provided by the function generator. So, the ICL8038 is nothing but a waveform generator and there are many ways to make the function generator and this ICL8038 waveform generator is a another great option. It has provided a wide range of frequency from 0 0.001 hertz up to 300 kilo or it may go to 500 kilohertz. So it will provide a low distortion in the output waveform and low frequency drift due to change in the temperature and it is easy to use. It, uh, it provided a uh, linearity at the triangular wave output uh, about 0.1 percent. The output impedance is around 200 ohm and the output uh, and uh, its adjustable duty cycle is uh, from 2 percent to 98 percent. And it requires a minimum number of components. So these are my um, uh, pin diagram of ICL8038. Uh, the first pin is sine wave adjust, second pin is sine wave out, third pin is triangle out, then duty cycle frequency adjust, and uh, it requires supply voltage VCC and FM bias, and eighth one is FM sweep input, square wave output, then timing capacitance, then route, sine wave adjust, and the NC represent no connections. So, this um, ICL8038 has a pin uh, 1 and uh, pin 2, 12 as uh, sine wave adjust. That is, uh, the distortion in the sine wave output can be reduced by adjusting the 10 kilo ohm part connected between this 12 and 11. Since the 11th pin is crowned and uh, first and sixth pin okay so if you see the first and sixth pin in uh, pin 2 sine wave output um, so it provide an amplitude of uh, 0 0.2 vcc where uh, the vcc it ranges from sr minus 5 volt to 15 volt and the pin 3 is triangular wave output so the amplitude of the triangular wave is uh, 0 0.33 vcc and uh, where VCC ranges from plus or minus uh, 5 volt to plus or minus 15 volt. The pin 4 and uh, pin 5. So, this represents the duty cycle uh, frequency adjust. So, the symmetry of all output waveform and the 50% of the duty cycle of the square wave output is adjusted by the external resistor which is started from VCC to the pin 4. So, these external resistors and capacitors at the pin 10 will decide the frequency of the output waveform. And the pin 6 is VCC. So, it will provide the positive supply voltage between 10 to 10 and 30 volt which is applied to this pin. And pin 7 is FM bias. So, this uh, pin along with the uh, pin number 8 is used to test the IC L8038. And the pin 9 represents the square wave output. So, it is um, 
open collector output so that the spin can be connected through the load to different power supplies. So this arrangement is very useful in making the square wave output. So the pin 10 is timing capacitor. So the external capacitor is connected to the spin will decide the output frequency along with the resistor connected to the pin 4 and 5. Next pin 11 that is uh, minus VE or ground. So if a polar if a single polarity supply is to be used, then the spin is connected to the supply uh, ground. And if uh, plus or minus supply voltage are used, then minus supply is connected to this thing. So the pin 13 and 14 represent no collections. So the parameters are the frequency of the output waveform, duty cycle, frequency adjust, FM bias, and FM sweep input. So First, let us discuss about the frequency generation. So, inside this ICL A038, you have uh, three cap compar the, uh, there are uh, comparators and the uh, flip flop. Suppose if the flip flop is in off state, an external capacitor gets charged. So, you can see. So, this is my uh, uh, overall diagram. And in this diagram, uh, if the well, the capacity, if the flip flop is in off state, the external capacity get charged. Okay. But when the capacity reaches the two by three of the uh, VCC, uh, as compared to the uh, my comparator one, so it will switch the uh, flip flop to an on state. So, which allow the capacitor to discharge and its voltage get decreased linearly. So, at this point, the comparator 2 compares the comparator voltage. When it reaches the 1 by 3 of the supply voltage, the flip flop is switched back to the previous off stage, which will again recharge the capacitors and this uh, process get continuous. So, the capacitor is linearly charged and discharging the cycle, which will produce a the triangular wave output while the flip flop which is switching between the low and high which produces a square waveform so both the, this waveform is fed to a buffer ok so it, it get fed to a buffer so you can see uh, uh, at the output ok uh, this output is uh, was given to a buffer uh, before it is uh, getting to the pin 3 and 9. So the sine wave is derived from the triangular wave using a non-linear sine converter before being uh, output to the pin 1. Right. So the sine wave converter will convert this my triangular waveform into a sine wave. So, uh, this uh, ICL can generate the three waveform. So, the triangular waveform is resulted from the external capacitors, linear charging and discharging, and the spire wave is generated by the flip flops that act according to the capacitor voltage, and the sine wave is created by feeding the triangular wave through the sine generator. So there are uh, so if you see, uh, I can connect um, in the connections like this, uh, and you can get the desired uh, uh, duty cycle. So, the frequency of the output waveform, the output frequency which is dependent on the value of the resistor R1 and R2 along with the capacitor C which is connected to the pin 10. So, if RA, RB is equal to R and if RC is adjusted by 50% of the duty cycle, then uh, I can write F0 is equal to 0 0.3 divided by R's, where 
ஆர் ஏ இஸ் ஈக்குவல் டு ஆர் ஒன் அண்ட் ஆர் பி இஸ் ஈக்குவல் டு ஆர் த்ரீ அண்ட் ஆர் சி இஸ் ஈக்குவல் டு ஆர் டூ நெக்ஸ்ட் இஃப் ஐ வாண்ட் டு அட்ஜஸ்ட் ஃப்ரீக்வன்சி ஆர் டியூட்டி சைக்கிள் ஸோ டியூட்டி சைக்கிள் ஆஸ் வெல் ஆஸ் த ஃப்ரீக்வன்சி ஆஃப் த அவுட் புட் வே ஃபார்ம் கேன் பி அட்ஜஸ்ட் பை கண்ட்ரோலிங் த வேல்யூ ஆஃப் த எக்ஸ்டர்னல் ரெசிஸ்டன்ஸ் அட் த பின் ஃபோர் அண்ட் ஃபைவ் த வேல்யூ ஆஃப் த ரெசிஸ்டன்ஸ் ஆர் ஏ அண்ட் ஆர் பி கனெக்டட் பிட்வீன் இசிசி அண்ட் அண்ட் த பின் ஃபோர் அண்ட் ஃபைவ் ரெஸ்பெக்டிவ்லி அலாங் வித் த கெப்பாசிட்டர்ஸ் விச் இஸ் கனெக்டட் அட் த பிங் டென் வில் டிசைட் த ஃப்ரீக்வன்சி ஆஃப் த வேவ் ஸோ த வேல்யூ ஆஃப் த ஆர் ஏ அண்ட் ஆர்பி ஷுட் பி இன் த ரேஞ்ச் ஆஃப் ஒன் கிலோ ஒன் டு ஒன் மெகா ஓ நெக்ஸ்ட் ஒன் இஸ் எஃப்எம் பயாஸ் ஸோ த எஃப்எம் பயாஸ் இன்புட் பின் செவன் கரஸ்பாண்ட் டு த ஜங்ஷன் ஆஃப் த ரெசிஸ்டர் ஆர் ஒன் அண்ட் ஆர் டூ த ஓல்டேஜ் வி இன் இஸ் ஓல்டேஜ் பிட்வீன் த விசிசி அண்ட் பின் எயிட் அண்ட் இட் வில் டிசைட் இட்ஸ் அவுட் புட் ஃப்ரீக்வன்சி So the output frequency is proportional to Vn as given the following session for Ra is equal to Rb that is for 50% of the duty cycle F0 is equal to 1.5 into Vn divided by C Ra into Vcc where C is the time capacitors. Pin 7 and 8 is connected to each other the output frequency is given by F0 is equal to 0.3 divided by Rc where R equal to Ra that is equal to rb for 50% duty cycle this is because um, vn is equal to r into vcc divided by r1 plus r2 so next one is fm sweep input this input should be connected to the pin 7 so if we want to have a constant output frequency so if the output frequency is supposed to vary then the variable dc voltage should be applied to the screen So the voltage between the VCC and pin 8 is called V in and it will decide the output frequency as F0 is equal to 1.5 into V in divided by C into RA VCC. So here the potential meter can be connected to this pin in order to obtain the required variable voltage to change the output frequency. 